Remove the six screws on the left and right side end caps. They are three each side. The position is indicated by the red arrows. Gently pry up the two plastic drum axle bushings. Keep this bushing with the appropriate end cap when removed. The two small bushings are different. Remove the two end caps. On the bottom back edge of the end caps, there is a plastic tag. Press it on the tag to remove the end caps. Lift off the roller assembly. Carefully, pry up the side plastic pieces on both sides to release the toner waste chamber. Remove the waste chamber. Remove the drum with a metal axle inside. If you want to reuse the drum, clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Make attention, it's really delicate, and the light may damage it. Remove the developer roller drive gear. It's not necessary to remove the other gears. Remove this spring. Remove the developer roller. Gently clean the developer roller with isopropyl alcohol. Remove the two screws on the doctor blade. Carefully, pry up the doctor blade. Clean the doctor blade. Make attention not to damage or distort it. Remove the fill plug. Remove the charge roller. Clean the charge roller with water. Make attention not to damage the recovery blade, this thin plastic blade. Clean out any remaining toner from the cartridge. It's better to use compressed air. You can also use a toner vacuum. If not, clean the cartridge as well as possible at open air. Do not breathe the toner dust. Clean the side foam seals. If they are compressed, rough them up with a small screwdriver. Replace the doctor blade and the two screws. Install the developer roller. Reinstall the drive gear on the developer roller. Make sure all the gears are set properly. Install the spring. Fill the cartridge with 250 grams of toner for the high yield version and 130 grams for the low yield version. Replace the fill plug and shut for leaks. Install the charge roller by sliding the long shaft side through the non-convent side. Coat the drum with toner or the convent with a wiper blade may damage it. Install the drum. Install the waste hopper onto the supply chamber. Make sure that the tags on both sides lock into place on the side wall. Install the roller assembly. Install the two side end caps.
Press the drum axle bushings in place. Set it so the small tab is at the end of the groove. Make sure it is fully seated. Install the six screws on the side of the cartridge. The chip is held in place by plastic rivets. To replace the chip, cut the plastic rivets and remove the plastic cover. The chip is a page counter. You need to replace it every time you refill the cartridge. Use glue or adhesive tape to block the chip cover in place. And the work is done.